All right, guys, we're back. Um, I'm going to include some pictures of the high temp RV RTV um, silicone gasket maker that I use for my um, self healing injection ports. Um, this is it right here. I'm including a picture as well. Like I said, you can get it at any hardware store, Walmart, Kmart, anything like that. Also including a picture of the lids that I pre-drilled with the bigger injection port in the middle and the smaller air release valve over here where that we're going to fill with polyfill. Uh, polyfill you can get at any fabric store. It is a thin synthetic material that doesn't absorb water and allows air transfer without bacterial um, infection. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to goop up a little bit of this RTV, high temp RTV silicone gasket maker into the injection port area here and you just kind of make a little goop area. I like kind of try to smooth it out a little bit with the tip a little bit. Some people like to put um, I guess a thicker piece of cardboard paper or any kind of paper to make it a flatter surface. I find that to be kind of, uh, you know, you can do it to make it a flatter surface on both sides. You put a piece here and a piece on the back, but I just find it to be not as useful. I have difficulty tearing the paper and sometimes you got paper that really stays on the back end. So I prefer not to. Some people like to do it with the paper. I've tried it both ways. Um, you know, everybody's going to like their own method. But I, like I said, I just kind of smooth it out as much as possible. You're going to have one little tip that hangs out just a little bit like that, as you can see. But as long as you goop it up on there a little bit on both sides like that and let it dry for 24 hours, um, you're usually good to go. I've never had a problem on that at all. Um, I am just somewhat of a beginner, I guess you'd say. Um, I've been doing this for about seven or eight months with quite a bit of success. But um, um, like I said, you'll find your own way what you like. Um, I just grab a little ball of polyfill here and uh, kind of work it into a little cone at the top here so you can pull it through. And uh, usually I wait till uh, this is dry after 24 hours to do this, but for video purposes, I'm just going to do one really quick. I'm sure, I'm going to make a mess, but we'll see what happens. section through until it feels kind of top and then on the access over here you're going to want to trim about uh, yay much off and then about yay much off over here let me grab some scissors and I'll show you 